Hippos are mammalian animals that are divided into two genera and two species. These are relatively large animals, although the pygmy hippopotamus is much smaller than the common hippopotamus. Hippos are polygamous. This means that during the mating season, a male hippopotamus mates with several different female hippos within its social group or environment. The mating process doesn't happen as often as you might think. Mating takes place only every two years. There is no specific mating season, however, a pattern has been observed in some areas that indicate that they tend to mate near the end of the dry season and the beginning of the wet season. At this time, the rain brought a lot of water and food, perfect conditions for mating and, eventually, for giving birth. The male checks that the female hippopotamus is ready to mate by sniffing her urine or sniffing her rump. During this period, the dominant male, or the male with the right to mate with the female, will often be close to the females in the herd, following them around. This act is intense and the males of the herd tend to be aggressive, often fighting among themselves. Male hippos are not the most romantic to attract the female they want to conquer. During the peak of mating, male hippos pee and defecate at the same time, with their tail wagging they spread the feces and pee around. This is to get the attention of the female they want to mate with. In an attempt to choose a mate, this ritual can last for three days. After that, mating takes place. After the mating period, the female hippopotamus has a long gestation period of around 240 days, or 8 months. When it is almost time to give birth, the female hippopotamus goes into complete social isolation until she has given birth to her calf or cubs, hippos usually give birth to one calf, but in some cases, they can give birth to twins. The baby hippopotamus is born underwater during what is usually the wettest time of the year. Giving birth underwater helps the young mother hippo conserve her energy during the birthing process. It also protects the newborn calf from being attacked or even eaten by land predators such as lions and hyenas. The new mother only returns to the environment where her group of hippos is located between 10 and 14 days, in some cases it can take longer.